Yes, people. Reality-based stats. You know what it is. You know what we do. We live in truth. We live in light. We live in responsibility. Right? That's what we do. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Because <clears throat> I don't know if I'm having to shout or if it's too loud or what. And I don't want to shout. Um, over the past few months, um, because I've been trying to work out <laughs> so much from the information that's been given to me, um, it's led me to be even more meticulous with it, or even more obsessive with it, let's say, yeah? Because um, obviously before, um, before the eclipse, it was a little bit, well, even, you know, just before it, I was kind of there, right? But leading up to the eclipse, nothing was 100% certain. I was walking in faith, yeah? Still am, but now I see everything kind of thing, right? I see it clearly. Um, whereas before it was theories, yeah? Just like I'm saying to you, where uh, I've always had a keen mind for conspiracy theories and all the rest of it, right? Um, I was never really drawn into many of the, say, more popular ones in terms of, like, you know, um, Flat Earth, say. Just, just say Flat Earth, right? Because my stance on Flat Earth was always just like, either way, right? Either way, whether it is or it isn't, right? It wasn't actually affecting my reality at that point. Do you see what I'm saying? Because if all of a sudden, so it was like, oh yeah, the Earth is flat, right? Boom, right? If all of a sudden someone was to say that to you, Nothing changes in your reality, yeah? All the framework stays the same. As far as I'm concerned, like, there might be some people that want to riot because the Earth's flat, but why? Where are you, like, what for? What, what you want to go run off the edge of the Earth? You want the right to run off the edge of the Earth? <sighs> Seems like a right that needs to be earned, first of all. But second of all, like I'm saying to you, I genuinely never saw it as a conspiracy that was worth my time. Um, the conspiracies I always liked centered around crime. <laughs> I'm not like, you know, blue collar, like, no, like the type I'm talking like intricate stuff, yeah? And maybe not even like mass, like, because obviously I was, I was into the governmental and secret society type shit anyway. But I'm talking even just like serial killer type shit, right? Or sociopathic tendency type shit, like scams and um, con artists. You know what I mean? People with disassociative personalities. Um... Like, I've always, like, really fucking enjoyed studying that shit, right? Um, and obviously, like, <laughs> the more this has gone on, like, the more I've come to, like, realise there's a deeper message within that for me, right? Um, but, yeah... Sidetrack, like I like I really fuck with um, Marvel's Moonlight. Yeah, it may not be for everybody, but for some of us, 
It might be for you, right? Back on track now. So yeah, this past few months has been really, really, really interesting for me. <laughs> like this is the maddest bit. Like I was, I was literally feeling like I was in. Like I was a kid again, kind of, right? Cause I felt like I was, it sounds mad, but playing a game. Like, But the game I was playing was a game of detective at times, right? Um, someone, someone else I always fucked with was Batman, right? <laughs> um... You know, like obviously for obvious reason man's man's uniform is kinda cold still, but more so because like his superpower apart from being rich, cool. One of his superpowers was being rich. But his superpower was being a master detective, yeah. And I always thought that was like it was one of the funniest, yeah, and like coldest things in in the in the DC universe, right? Because obviously I knew, deep down, I knew what that meant, right? It meant he's so paranoid, yeah, <laughs> that even when he comes into contact with allies, his mind strays towards how he might have to defeat them at one point, yeah? Um, and obviously Batman is... Um, a creation of shadow is a man that lives in shadow right so message and all that shit yeah like, this is what i'm saying this yeah symbology all of that right are imitating life and all of that um but anyway right so this whole process to me um has been some detective shit right <laughs> because obviously like I've been receiving certain information about certain shit where I'm like, how's that tie into my story, right? And, you know, for a little while, I dismissed it. I dismissed it because I was like, surely not, right? You know, like, surely, surely not this as well. Like, are you, is that what's going on? Evidently so, right? So, Obviously, like, within hearing the information then and within slowly but surely getting to the point where I'm starting to be like, rah, yeah, boom, this as well. So I'm jumping on Google. <clears throat> I'm Googling. <laughs> this is the, the maddest thing, right, about the world we live in. There's a lot that you can just find on Google, like just normal shit. Um, well, not particularly normal, like, in nature, but, like, yeah, the information itself is very easy to come by, right? Um, but obviously, within the, um, within the download itself, like, there was layers, yeah, there was layers that I had to cross-correlate. Obviously, a lot of it makes sense anyway, because even once I then Googled, found the things that I thought I was looking for, so boom, I thought I was looking for them, and now they're there. So I have them both there now, opening my Google searches, right? I then started to recall events and conversations and erratic energies that I'd experienced over the past year or so, yeah? Some of it more recent than, than others. Um, and I had to knit that together, right? So before the eclipse, that was knitted together with faith, right? So uh, with the gravity in which this is going to fall, not just on the perpetrator, right? Not just on the victimizer, but obviously the family of the victim or victims. Um, 
and I had to be sure. Like you have to be sure before you start saying things. Um, so that's kind of what I had to be, <laughs> had to be. I had to be responsible. I had to use discernment. And I had to also wait until I was 100% certain. And like I'm saying to you, like, ever since I've woke up this morning, um, I was journaling, writing some bits and pieces down. Um, and, you know, a few downloads came in that were just nagging at me, nagging at me. Because like I'm saying to you, as much as I had come to a place where I felt I knew, my intuition had started to nag at me and say, right, now that we know, and we know we know, it's time to say, do, and act, right? I've had this feeling before, and I've done so, and I'm doing it again now, right? So give me two seconds. Um, all right, hold on. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, come on, man. Let's do it like that. Cool. Right. Let's start with the other one first. Basically, just because it's got to that point where this guy's just done way too much, way too much, and he won't stop because he's 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 gone, he's gone, right? So, um, on Friday the thirteenth of October at around three a.m. There was a, a hit and run incident uh, involving uh, someone on a bike. Uh, I do believe that the driver was James Hogarth. Um, so police, I reckon if you are watching, which you, I'm 100% certain you are just because of my cousins and all that other shit. And you know that James Hogarth was already involved in that. That's something else that he's been up to whilst he's been on his wonderful ride of drugs and treachery um, over the past however long, right? And there was another incident in Knoll at uh, 10 past nine uh, in the morning. I can't see the date on the actual article. Let me see if I can see it. Oh, it's 18th of January. 18th of January, uh, 10 past nine in the morning, uh, and it was, I, I believe it was in Knoll, uh, Ilminster Avenue. Yeah, I believe if you speak to James Hogarth about both of those incidents, you will 100% find exactly who you're looking for. Um, like I'm saying to you, uh, I'm still sifting through a lot of the downloads that I've been having. Um... And yeah, like I'm saying to you, like, it, God, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying this from me, because I know that you lot have had your signs yourself. You've been having signals and omens and fucking near death experiences. Yeah, I know these things, right? <clears throat> So the point I'm making to you is it's got to the point where you, you've done way too much. You're not trying to slow down and you think you're God. And you've even got it into your mind that I think that I'm God. <laughs> and this is where yours and my mind state have never met. I understand exactly who I am. Yeah, you may see God in me, 
But that's because I am a creation of God. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I live my life by his framework, by his rules. There is God in all of us when we live by the framework. I've been telling you about the framework for a long time. This is why like, I don't have no remorse. Like, I offered my hands. I offered my hands pretty much to all of these people. All of these people, I offered my hand and they spat in my face. Not only did they spit in my face, they tried to stick a knife in my back, right? Multiple swords to the back, yeah? That was their their sole intent, their sole purpose over, over a space of years now, right? So this, it's not a case of me snitching and all the rest of it, yeah? You have done too much dirt and it's not even like you've been putting in that work and getting that paper like stacking and going doing some shit with your life you're just on treachery yeah on treachery with literally anyone you can because that's what treachery is it isn't something where you go out and you fucking work for it you fuck over people that are close to you so the only reason you cannot fuck me over anymore is because i refuse to let people like that near me you see what i'm saying to you people when you do that, when you cut them out of their, uh, your life, all they're going to do is go to somebody else and fuck them over, yeah? Revealing themselves. And I guarantee you, at this point in time, what are we? We're in April, yeah? I guarantee... Are we, are we still April? <laughs> My brain's a bit funky. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Listen, <clears throat> April, it's been since January since I first started talking, right? And I guarantee you, these lot have been up to all sorts. And it's probably been happening to all of you, rather than me for once. All right, I've been getting the gang stalking and the rumours and the fucking... Blah, 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 blah. But I'm good, I'm built for all that, right? The point I'm making to you is, you may well still be under the illusion that any of these people that are around you have anything but good intent, have anything but bad intentions for you. Right? The fact of the matter is, I have known all of these people for a very long time. Right? So where they where <laughs> where they think that they've known me, right? Here's here's the problem with narcissistic people. If they can't work you out, they'll put you in a box that best defines them. Uh, sorry, best defines you for them to feel greater than you, right? In their mind. It does, <laughs> that's the craziest part, right? And whilst they're around you, they can project that. They can project it ooh, all day long. But if there's nothing connecting you to them, if, there is, if they're not nowhere near you, if they're not allowed in your energy field, yeah? They can't do none of that. They can't do any of that. So all that there is, is the truth about them, which is incorrect specimen. You know, deviant. Yeah, but this is, this is the thing, man, like, the worst part about this, like, hey, what? This is similar here, yeah? <laughs> Fuck, it really is. <laughs> and somebody said this to me. Oh, wow. This is, this is cold, right? Because it is cold for so many reasons, right? I told you. I told you about uh, New Jack City, right? And obviously, within... Uh, Brother Panic's lecture uh, and within another lesson uh, that I was listening to um, yeah flipping obviously at the end not at the end but at one point um, Wesley Snipes has to kill G-Money right um, 
obviously there's a there's a a deeper meaning to that within duality that doesn't really serve the purpose of this conversation i i don't think maybe it will um but like like i'm saying to you man there's the part in new jack city where uh nino has to kill g money right because obviously g money is just Bunning food and work and you know what I mean? Like he's just out the game really and he's a liability to everything and everyone around him. Because anything can happen. Anything can happen around him because he has no control over himself, no control over his emotions, no control over his mind anymore. Okay? It, he's multiple people all at the same time and he's very unsure who he is anymore i'm giving anyone a warning that is around him sooner or later that blade is going to turn on you yeah i'm delivering the message from a place of someone who used to view this man as like a brother because he probably lasted the longest out of all of my friends in terms of how long I've actually been around them. And all I came to realize is he only stuck around to try to fuck me over for his own crazy, insane reasons, yeah? Um, I was lucky enough to get out of the traps that him and my cousins were setting for me, right? But now all of that's over because my family is in ruins. Yeah, the courts are the courts are courting. The police have much much information. Yeah, prosecution doing bits, right? So the minions that's left, yeah, if you haven't abandoned shit by now, you should. But secondly, Jimothy, I would stay the fuck away from him because he's not all there. He still thinks it's still going on back. Like he's got backing from the all. Whatever, whatever entities he's been fucking with all live in his brain now. Like all of them. I'm telling you, there's bear of them. Like he's not okay. Yeah, so he might not even see any jail time for this. It might just be a case of fucking getting your head screwed back on, bro. Some real serious rehab, yeah? Depends whether or not anyone's dead. Like, I haven't looked into that, but, like, now I just know for a fact that it was you, and it? Like, 100% certain. I don't know if the police grab you up, question you, one of them personalities is going to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not It's not that funny It's not that funny when you have to deal with someone who You cannot guarantee who they are going to be on any given day Right? And that puts you at risk That puts your partner at risk That puts your children at risk That puts your pets at risk Like real fucking talk, bro Yeah, if your cat went missing Yeah, I'm telling you <laughs> I'm telling you <laughs> I'm telling you <laughs> Right? So, <clears throat> just be aware. Because it's that time. It's, it's love and light time, people. Yeah? Spread awareness. Not death. Destruction. Hatred. Jealousy. Greed. Like I'm saying to you, man, me, I love making money. But I love making money in a way where I don't feel as though I'm fucking no one over. I love that. Yeah? And you know what I love even more? Is empowering others to make money with me. I love that shit. Because then we can all go out to eat together. Like, not just you lot looking at me all fucking sour because I can go out to eat when I want. 
Remember them days? Weird shit, right? But irrelevant, irrelevant when push comes to shove because it's the past. The future is bright. The future is indigo. The future is blue. The future is green. Future is orange. Tangerine, maybe, right? The future is colorful and beautiful, right? And it's up to us to embrace that side of life. We've spent a long time within paradigms that have got distorted between if you are involved in criminal activity with a group of people, yeah, and you tell on that group of people because you got caught, that is snitching, right? But if you are victim to a group of people and you tell, that's not snitching. That's the game, bruv. Like, it's cops and robbers, isn't it? You knew your role, right? And my role was assumed from a long time ago, yeah? I weren't fucking with this. I weren't fucking with that. I weren't fucking with them. So if you're on that side, I'm obviously on the opposing side, right? And like I'm saying to you, my mind has no care or want to get into the, the minds of or the business of shotters, whatever you man are doing. I'm not in focus of you, so I have no idea. I'm not looking to just go around snitching on people. This is not the point of this download. I couldn't give a fuck what you're doing. Live your life, but I implore you, head towards the light. Change is coming, and you are more than that. I guarantee you, you are more than that. Do the work, right? But yeah, for now, that's it. End of download, people, yeah? That was the only, well, the last and only time I would be doing anything like that. From now on, it is all about the light, yeah? And building with people of the light, yes? Right then, reality-based diets, holy trinity, do the work, you know the bars. Peace.